celebrate what is going to be the biggest rib fest in 17 years right here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And what a better place to have this press conference than right here at the Brennan Rock and Roll Academy who are setting up our next rock stars from the Kids of the Boys and Girls Club so eventually they can be on the big stage at Rip Fest. Let me tell you a little bit about what's going on and I'm going to introduce some of my friends and, and then we're going to take all the questions you want and, and these guys will be more than happy to come around, take some photos and do some interviews with all the media. We wanted to gather everybody in one spot because this is a big deal. Uh, about two months ago the arena reached out to me and said, Chuck, we've been doing Rip Fest for 16 years now. We want to step it up. And as far as we know, you have the biggest black book in the area of rock stars. I thought you had to say something else. No. <laughs> of rock stars. The biggest what? So, I said, look, I'm in, but let's take care of the kids first. And the big news today, besides all these fantastic rockers who are here, is that the money going from Ripfest this year, a lot of it, over half, is going to be donated right here to the kids of the Brennan Rock and Roll Academy. Yeah. For the boys and, girls club. and that's ticket sales, it's sponsorship, it's beer sales, everything. And that was my big concern. And the other concern was, I'm not going to this event if it's going to be in a parking lot again. So let's move it to the fairgrounds where we got a lot of room because we got Leonard Skinner coming. I mean, we need room for people, not the arena parking lot. And we have real grass and real trees and, and restrooms and all kinds of neat stuff. And we are going to deck out the fairgrounds like you would not believe. This is going to be the premier festival rock and roll event from here on out. I'm involved. I'm saving the day with the music. We have some great music coming. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. And we've kept the price point low. We're going to get to some of that. First of all, let me tell you who's coming, just right off the bat. It's a, a festival, as you can see, it's May 29th to June 1st. And at the event, Thursday night is our Canadian invasion. And we have all bands coming down from the north, from Canada. We have Helix coming. We have Honeymoon Sweet coming. April Wine and Loverboy. With us today, of course, Mike Reno, the lead singer of Loverboy. Thanks, brother. Mike flew in from Canada yesterday uh, with me on, on my uh, plane to, to come and, and just let you guys know how real this is. I know sometimes people don't really believe what's going to happen, and, and I wanted to show you all what is really going to happen over Rib Fest. Friday night, uh, it's ladies' night, and we have a bunch of uh, hot guys coming for the ladies, I, I'm told. And uh, wow. that, that night, yes, that's what I, you're the next, you're the big name, right? Hang tight. Well, I'm in an all-male <laughs> review, so I'll be there. <laughs> So, ladies' night on Friday, uh, literally, we have uh, my friend Mr. Stephen Piercy here from RAT. <laughs> Stephen, we go way back in, you know, in 1986 and such. You go see your sold out shows at the arena here in Sioux Falls. Really, RAT is a Sioux Falls legend. And, and Stephen was here the opening weekend of uh, the Brennan Rock and Roll Academy and performed for a fundraiser. He's also performed a couple other fundraisers. He's been great with the Academy, and, and thanks for coming. Um, Stephen Piercy, of course, from Rap. Thank you. Also that night, uh, one of my favorite bands of all time, and, and uh, you know, just a, a personal friend, and he's been really helpful with the Academy and performed at a couple of things, Mr. Tom Kiefer from Cinderella. years myself and every band on this bill is something that I would travel across the state to go see and I wanted it to be that I, I want this to be for the true rock and roll fans and uh, Cinderella is you know one of one of my favorite bands they've done well at the arena over the years and and I've gotten to know Tom recently um, through helping at our fundraiser in Las Vegas and he performed for 5,000 people there and it was it was great also that night uh, the mild-mannered, of course, uh, front man of Twisted Sister, Mr. D. Snyder. I will be letting my hair out for the occasion, so stand back. <laughs> D. 
Dee flew in from New York just to be with us today and to show his support of the kids in the academy and to let everybody know that this is a very big, big deal. And it is the full show, the biggest stage Ribfest has ever seen. The video, the sound, the lights, you name it. It's going to be like something you've never seen. And to get these guys to commit to this, we had to bring it. And we're bringing it to Sioux Falls. He couldn't make it tonight, but Rick Springfield's also going to be here that night. Enough said. You know, the ladies will be running from uh, the hills and the dales and uh, the creeks, and it's going to be insane. So that night, we have that huge lineup. And then uh, a little southern hospitality coming in for Saturday. We have Head East that's going to be performing. We also have the, the almighty Fog Hat taking a slow ride into Sioux Falls. And uh, literally one of the greatest bands of all time, Leonard Skinner featuring Ricky Medlock. a rock and roll legend. He's, he's been with Leonard Skinner, you know, for years and years and years. And this is big to have a band like that headlining our, our three days of, of rock. And uh, we just can't be happy enough to have him and just to come up uh, to be here today uh, from Leonard Skinner. Thanks so much. And I tell you, we dug back deep, and, and Leonard Skinner's never played in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. This is a really big thing. The closest they played, yeah, absolutely. Ricky's got family in Sioux Falls, right? Well, actually, I got family in South Dakota. My my father was born and raised, uh, as you can see, I got Sioux here and Indian here, but my father was born and raised at the Rosebud Reservation here in South Dakota. So I have my 88, almost 89 year old aunt that lives in Pierre. So uh, I, have, I have a bunch of Indians in and around here. So there we go, you know. I, I really don't understand why we, I don't really understand why Skinner actually never really played Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I mean, we played it just about everywhere else, but. That when he really took me aback by, I had no idea it, that it's a simple and I, I never realized it. <laughs> and you know, you do Sturgis, and it, it's a religious experience when you go to Sturgis to see Leonard Skinner. There's 30, 40, 50,000 people out there uh, seeing this, and, and that's why we really needed to beef up where we we're going to have the event this year and make room for everybody. And tons of restrooms, and tons of bars, and tons of great rib vendors, the whole bit. So that's our lineup, but my favorite part of the lineup, no offense to any of these guys, is on Sunday, which is June 1st, the children of the Brennan uh, Rock and Roll Academy are going to be performing. That's, that's good. And that's, uh, that's awesome. And with that, Karen Fogus is here from the Boys and Girls Club. That's uh, Karen's the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club here and has been integral in uh, putting the, the Brennan Rock and Roll Academy together with us. And from SFG in the Sioux Falls Arena, uh, Mr. Rick Hoffman here, he's been my uh, right-hand guy as we're putting some of this together. And at the far end of the table, last but not least, my good friend John Domigle. How are you? Rock and Roll agent John Domigle. And Johnny has spent tireless hours uh, helping bring a lot of these bands here. Uh, he donates all his time. Um, we go back uh, 30 some years. He's, he's been a great help. But that's everybody who's here. And, and I'm, uh, my name's Chuck Brennan. I, I'm the CEO and founder of, of Dollar Loan Center. Uh, we are the title sponsor this year just because the, we need a lot of money to pay for all this stuff. <laughs> so I, I knew a guy who might help out, and I called him and I, and I said yes. Uh, <laughs> Also the uh, proud founder of, of the Brennan Rock and Roll Academy, and, and we're just about a year old. Uh, March 26th will be our first anniversary here, and we're having a great little concert here that night with the kids performing their first concert to the public, uh, with all their little bands that they formed over the past year, and uh, some great surprise entertainment that night too. But. Uh, the Brennan Rock and Roll Academy has really changed Sioux Falls and the face of the Boys and Girls Club. And Ribfest is just going to be another extension of that. And for them to come to the table and support such a good charity, um, you know, my hands off to the, the Ribfest team for letting us get involved. Thank you very much. So we're, um, we're doing this 
uh, a little informally right now. If any questions you have, I'm going to sit down and join these guys. You can call them out by name. You have the uh, the name tags in front, and we'll also do some media interviews afterwards. But we'd like to answer any questions uh, that you have. One thing I did bring up is the pricing, and Ribfest has always been a very reasonable ticket. And this year hasn't changed at all. For $30, you can go to all four days. And it would cost you $30 to go see any one of these bands at any venue. And we've really kept the price down. And we really need the community support um, for sponsors to keep that price down. And we're, we're hoping that they open up with, uh, with open arms and an open checkbook to sponsor the event. Uh, because we do want to keep the price low. So with that, any questions? All right. <laughs> well, we'll see you. <laughs> Actually, you're saying it's seven hours.